Good morning. Had a b bit of a cold front moving through. I actually don't know. <laughs> Just clouds and some wind. Um, it's my last morning. Hitting the road again. So sorry for any wind noise. I don't know how much is going to come through here. Hitting the road the next 48 hours, I think, are going to be kind of crazy. Uh, for me so we'll see how that goes but I think I wanted to chat about this conversation I had yesterday about Instagram so I've been off Instagram basically since I graduated college and I have felt a sense of friction or tension getting back on Instagram and posting again. And I think the biggest thing comes from the, the people that are like following me currently on Instagram are a bunch of high school and college friends. And when I say friends, I mean acquaintances that I had while I was in college. And I don't know, I feel I feel like this like I've changed a lot. And I don't know, there's this fear of unknown of of what they'll think of me. That type of thing. And combine that with just, well, I think a big, a big, a couple years ago, when I, when I got off Instagram, I was in a mindset of, I need to figure out what I want to do and get rid of external validation, external opinions, basically. And like, Think about me and myself without influence from external. And so I think that was also a good move in terms of getting off Instagram. But I think I'm I think I'm at a place where I've solved that problem. Like I've, I've built the, like I was talking about yesterday with self-awareness, like I've built the self-awareness to know what I want, at least right now. And I've kind of been exposed to more people in this online business space. And I'm learning the the, how using Instagram, uh, I don't know how to phrase this. <laughs> Apparently Instagram is still useful as a sort of networking tool. And <clears throat> and so I think some of the guys were kind of drilling, drilling me about, you know, oh, you need to get back on Instagram, and like, why are you not, um, all in, all in good spirits, but, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's, uh, I, I was, I was telling them, I think if I, if I could wipe my Instagram clean, then I would start posting again. And so it's this fear of other people. And specifically, people that I was friends with, you know, in college. <clears throat> and then the other thing is, <clears throat> you know, saying how, okay, well, is it even worth my time right now? Like, what's, what's the upside of Instagram? posting on Instagram and 
Like, what am I missing out on? And they made some actually good <laughs> points that I've been thinking about. One of which being, <clears throat> I think it actually would help me in my current venture because and actually I'm going to connect it to something that I heard from another guy in this group that I was talking with about marketing. He was saying how you should, you should put your face on your, uh, put your face on your business basically, because people buy from people. And so rather than kind of separate yourself from the business that I'm making, try to make it like, you know, oh, the business is, you know, this and the team and the whatever, um, like make it me, Peter. And the guys were saying yesterday that, I think they said the same thing, that like people buy from people and that, you know, if I meet someone, they would want to check out, or even if someone, you know, sees me from online, they would check out my Instagram and see like what kind of life I, I live. And that would influence their decision to buy or not buy. And I think that's actually a strong point. And so then I guess it becomes a question of like, well, how much effort does it take? And I, if you look at my video, if you look at my YouTube channel, I'm not one for editing videos. It just takes, it just takes time and I'm not at a point where I would want to outsource it. So, <clears throat> yeah. I think I've, I've been in this mindset of like low friction, um, focus on the high ROI activities and I've solved the problem. Like, you know, th they brought up like my blog posts and, uh, newsletter and how that can be solved with Instagram posting on Instagram. And I actually disagree because there's a lot that can be missed. Um, in just single photos. And I think the week is a better granularity to use for, specifically for my future self looking back. And I like the written word. It, you know, going back to that discussion of like documenting my life for my future self, you know, I was between making videos and writing blog posts. And I think I would make videos, except the editing would take too long. And I think it also starts to take away from the experience in the moment. And so I think for this, the, the problem of documenting my life for my future self, which I was gonna say again, but like that is a, that is a thing that I do for myself and basically only from, well, myself and my family who wants to, you know, see what I'm up to. But I, I have no intention of like, oh, growing my newsletter or like getting more traffic from, you know, to my blog or whatever. It's like, I write these, for, like that's solving a problem for myself and I don't like how Instagram would solve that problem. So I think I'm going to continue to do those and then just start to supplement Instagram in. The other thing I wanted to mention was <clears throat> for me, the question of getting back on Instagram as I learn more about the uh, power and influence of having a strong Instagram is that for me, it's a question of when, not if. Like, I'm I'm planning on getting back on Instagram 
but all of the reasons I just gave, like uh, the friction getting started and editing and um, is it worth my time, like those things are stopping me from starting like today rather than starting within the next six to 12 months, which I think would be realistic for me to start. And so I'll close out this verbal journal session with, I, I think I've been convinced, but it's gonna take me another journal session to actually like solidify these thoughts and figure out how to get back on Instagram. I think I think my strategy is probably just gonna hide all of my current content and just like start over but keep my same account. But that's probably not gonna happen for a couple weeks. <laughs> so I feel like I have higher priority things to do right now. So anyway, it's been good here in Spain. I will still be in Spain today, but flying out tomorrow. So lots of travels. See you tomorrow.